hi guys <laughs> let's make something long and flowy this week so in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how i made this pretty long kimono jacket and also how you can recreate it for yourself so please hit the subscribe button and tap the like button right below your screen thank you <laughs> So guys, I'm going to be using this um, 6 yards of Ankara fabric um, for my kimono jacket Even though I don't know right now if um, I'm going to like finish using all the 6 yards because um, I haven't cut it yet But let me just um, say maybe I will use like um, 4 to 5 yards or maybe I will even use all of the 6 yards yet I, But I don't know yet sure So now because what I'm cutting today is wide and all so laying it on my table to illustrate and show you what i'm going to do might not be um very easy because you may not see it like fully what i'm doing so when i'm cutting this i might have to even lay it on the floor to cut it so now today i'm going to be using this paper to illustrate um what i want to do on my fabric i will illustrate it on the paper so let's assume this is my ankara fabric so the first thing i'm going to do will be to fold my um, ankara first this way to figure out how long i want my um, kimono jacket to be so you can fold it once this way and then you fold it again this way to get to locate the midpoint so this year this year is the front and this part here is the back so you can also fold it once more this way just so that you can get the accurate width of your uh, jacket so all i have here is going to be going to have four fabric pieces one two three four so you get what i mean so you fold once this way this will be the length for the front and from here to here will be the length for the back so once you fold it back this way then you now figure out how um, the width, how wide you want the kimono jacket to be. So I'm going to draw that here right now. So to get that, you can get the largest measurement on your body, which for some people is your, it will be your hips or your bust or whichever one is the largest measurement on your body. Then you divide it by um, four inches. You add 10 inches to it. Uh, or if you want it wider, you can add maybe 12 inches or 15 inches. It all depends on you. So whatever you get, you start to measure it this way. From the middle here, you measure it this way. From the middle here, measure it this way. From the middle here, you measure it this way. So let's assume this is the right width of my of my of my kimono. So now the next thing will be to um, figure out. Um, how long I want the sleeve to be how wide I want the sleeve to be so you can either measure 10 inches downwards this way or you measure more than 10 inches you can do 12 or 13 or 14 or 15 it all depends on you so for me I'm going to be uh, measuring that as um, 12 between 12 to 13 inches so let's assume this is what we are going to have right here so from here you can go in by let's say um three or four inches or five inches so you can go in just to create an illusion of an ampoule around here so let's let me just do this so from there you draw a slit straight line downwards so now that you have this don't cut yet all you have to do then is to open this up so that we can locate the middle open this up like this and then you draw a straight line in the middle here to um, locate the middle so this is the middle so all everything here is the front everything this way is the front and everything at the back here is the back so you can also draw a midpoint um, a straight line in the middle here so now that we have that figured out then you pick your fabric and then you open it up this way straight so this is the midpoint of our um of our kimono so you can also draw a straight line in the middle here also just so that it's easy for you to 
draw your neckline so at this spot right here you can measure let's say maybe one inch for the back here so let's assume you measure one inch this way then you measure it also this way this will be the back neckline now for the front you just kind of um use your um chalk or your pencil or whatever to just um kind of create a you just blend in a curved kind of line so just blend in a curved kind of line this way and then you also do the same also for this part here so this is the back you measure one inch round this way to get the roundness of the back and then for this part you just um, kind of blend in you just kind of blend in a curved line this way and then you do this also this way and that um, completes this so now before you cut this open because this is the front it's, it has to be open you then let me come back to the middle here so you fold it back the way we did earlier and then you cut this out then you can also you can pin this part down so it doesn't move around when you want to cut the midpoint of your front here so you just pin it down once you are done cutting this part so then then you also cut so you see already cut the front this is this here then you bring this this way and then you cut the back neckline and this completes the cutting of our clothes then what we are going to do now to create um to extend the arm to extend the length of your arm you, all you have to do is just measure what you have here and then you cut an extra strip of fabric on fold then that strip of fabric is what will be attaching here so let's assume this is it so this is the fabric on fold this way this is it so you just measure what you have here and cut a fabric like this so this is we'll be placing this right here right here we'll be attaching this right here so it extends the um the arm at the, the sleeve it extends the sleeve and then it also gives this part here the rest part here a bit of um some structure because it's on fold you can see so yeah i'm going to replicate this on my ankara fabric now and then i'll show you what it looks like on me before i begin to sew and put it all together so guys before i forget because i don't think i mentioned that earlier when you're cutting the back from here down is um one inch but from the middle to this place you can uh, measure 2.5 inches so that will be one inch down one inch this way and then 2.5 inches this way so you get the drift so that is how you'll be cutting the back so this is also going to be 2.5 from the mid from the midpoint here you measure 2.5 inches this way and then from the midpoint here you also measure 2.5 inches this way then you blend it in here just like i explained earlier so it's not the back is not one inch round if you make it one inch round it's a bit too the neckline will be too small so it will be 2.5 inches from here here 2.5 inches from here here then here from the midpoint downwards will be one inch so i hope you got the drift of what i explained now this is what that looks like on my fabric because you can see so this is the back neckline and this is my front neckline and this is the width of my arm code so all i did was measure um from here to here is 15 inches so that's that here so yeah and then i already cut my front open so all i have to do now is to cut a facing for the neckline so you just cut the facing to turn the neckline all the way down and also at the back here all the way down and then i'm going also going to cut the extended part that i explained earlier for this part so once i'm done doing that once i sew in my facing and then i attach my extended part then i'll just 
so the side seems straight up. And this here is my facing. And these are the extension for the sleeve. So this is exactly 10 inches. So I have a 10 inches extension. So I'm going to be attaching it to the armhole of my jacket through this dress. So now let's move right ahead to sewing. Now this is my neckline all turned and um, ironed flat. So now all I have to do now is to come to the side right here. That is the part where my sleeve is. This part here. Then you overlock it just like I've done. And then don't forget also, before we even touch, talk about the sleeve, don't forget also to um, turn the hem of your of your jacket. So I extend, I turned this, I closed the hem by two inches and that is what I've done right here. So now for the armhole, you come right here and pick up your extension. So this is my extension folded this is it so i overlocked it right here this way so this is a double then all i have to do now is to place it this way and then i'll sew down by half inch so i'll sew this all the way by half inch right here and then i'll do the same also for the other side so once i'm done this comes this way it comes this way like this and then once i'm done doing that all i have to do then is to place my front and back pieces align them together and then i'll sew it at the sides by one inch so this is what i mean once you sew this mid part this extension once you're done sewing it then you just sew by one inch at this way this way all the way and you come here and sew all the way one inch all the way uh, down to the hem of your jacket so i'm just going to do all of that now and then once you're done that completes your jacket your kimono jacket And that's it guys don't forget to tap the like button because that's like super super important also uh, tap the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming um, videos when i post them i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>